Merry holidays, everybody. I know by the time you're seeing this, they are probably over, especially since I'm working on this on Christmas Eve and Christmas. But hey, it's the thought that counts, or so I'm told. Today, I want to follow up on the request mentioned in my last video about basic follower alerts using StreamerBot and OBS. And since I'm going to tackle that, I figured why not also mention subscriber, tip, and cheer alerts for my fellow affiliates out there. All of these are relatively easy to do, especially if you are sticking to the basics and aren't doing anything fancy. However, if you do want to do the fancy things, because yeah, fancy stuff rules. The way to have them executed is the exact same, and the only thing that changes is your actions setup. So without further stalling, let's dive right in so I can get out of here and go eat some food and take pictures and all the other great holiday stuff. Guess what the first thing I'm gonna say is? No, Jordan, it isn't how cool I am. Good guess though. For those of you familiar with my videos on StreamerBot and OBS, you know that in order to do anything, we need to make sure that the two applications can communicate. And since this is a basic setup video, I am going to once again show you how to do that. So with the most recent versions of both programs installed, links in the description below, open up OBS and at the top, click the tools tab and go to WebSocket server settings. Inside of that, you just want to tick the box enabling your WebSocket server. You can also set up a password here if you wish to do so. Mine is pineapples. Keep OBS opened and open up StreamerBot. At the top of StreamerBot, go to the Stream Apps tab click that, which opens up into the OBS tab. And in the box below, which should be empty if you have never done this, right click and select add. With OBS open, it will have most things already populated. Just title it OBS, change the version to v5.x. Make sure the port matches what you see in your port box in OBS's WebSocket server settings. Tick the auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect boxes, leave the retry interval set to 30, and uh, just click OK. Now for any alert, people typically want a sound, a GIF, or a video, and the user's name displayed. So that is what we are going to tackle for our basic alerts. So inside of OBS, we want to create a new scene and name it Alerts. Add a text GDI source and title it Username. and select your desired font and then change the text size to 256 or whatever you want. I stick with 256 because no matter what size you make the font when stretching it and scaling it inside of the scene, the fidelity of the image doesn't change. It will always look crisp. You won't have any blurry pixelated letters and you know, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do, do whatever. If you already have a user name GDI source, you can name it user's name. Secondly, if you want to, you can add a browser source that we will use to pull profile pictures, but you don't have to do this. It's totally optional. If you do, just name it profile picture so that it doesn't conflict with other scenes using that source in OBS. You know, like welcome messages if you've been watching my videos. The last source you will need to add is either an image source or a media source, depending on whether you want a static image or a video to be displayed. Since everyone loves a good GIF, GIF Yeah. We are going to do a media source for this demonstration. So add your media source and name it follower video. In this source, you are going to want to locate your video file wherever it may be on your computer and add it in right now. And then turn off the visibility to all of the sources. We will be triggering them using StreamerBot after all. Now that we have our scene and sources set up inside of OBS, we can move over to StreamerBot to start working on our action, sub actions, and trigger. Inside of StreamerBot, the first thing we want to set up is our queue so that the alerts don't start cutting each other off or exploding heads by stacking and playing simultaneously. So at the top of StreamerBot, go to the Action Queues tab, click Queues, right click in the box, and select Add. Name the queue Alerts and tick the blocking box. 
go to the Actions tab of StreamerBot and right-click inside the list of actions and select Add. Name the action Follower Alert, set the group name to Twitch Alerts, and the queue to Alerts. Tick the Always Run box and click OK. Over to the right, we want to right-click in the sub-actions list and go to Twitch, then hover over User and click Get User Info for Target. Change the top box from Broadcaster to User and click OK. Next, right-click inside the sub-actions box again and go to OBS, hover over Sources, and select Set GDI Text. Scene will be alerts, source will be username or user's name, depending on how you had to set it up. And in the text box, type thank you for following, percent sign, lowercase t, target, user with an uppercase u, percent sign, or percent sign, target user, percent sign, is now following or some version of a follower notification message that fits you and makes you happy. Then click OK. If you chose to add a profile image to this alert as well, right click inside of the sub actions box again, go to OBS, hover over sources, and select set browser source URL. Scene will again be alerts, the source will be profile image, and the URL will be percent sign target with a lowercase t, user with an uppercase u p with a p with a profile with a capital p image with a capital i url with a capital u percent sign and then click ok so now that we have all of that set up we just have to configure our toggles to show and hide the sources so right click in the sub actions box again and go to OBS, hover over Sources, and select Set Source Visibility State. The scene will be Alerts, the source username or user's name, and the state visible. Then click OK. And then right click on that sub action and duplicate it. Then double click the duplicate and change the source to Follower Video and click OK. Now, if you chose to add the profile picture, duplicate that sub action once more, double click it to edit and change the source to profile image, then click OK. Now, what good would an alert be without audio? Am I right? Yeah. So right click and go to core, hover over sounds and click play sound. Now really quick, if you don't have any sounds on your computer that you wanna use for alerts, you can go to myinstance.com and download as many sounds as you want that you would think make a great alert sounds. They do have a lot of sounds. I will leave a link to that site in the description below. Inside of the play sound setup box, set the audio device to whatever you want or leave it on default if you don't have anything fancy going on with your audio like several outputs or you're not using voice meter banana or voice meter or uh you know a, a beacon mix create or anything like that if it's just standard and all your audio plays through your headset leave it on default under sound file to play, locate whatever audio file you want to play for your alert wherever you have it saved, and then click the test button after you add it in to make sure the volume level of it isn't insane. You can adjust it using the slider at the bottom there and then test it again. And then when you have it at a level you're comfortable with, click OK. Next, right click in the sub actions box, go to core and select Delay. Set the delay to a reasonable amount of time for an alert. I would suggest somewhere between 3000 and 8000, which is three to eight seconds, then click OK. And then lastly, right click on each of your visibility sub actions you just added, duplicate all of them, and change them from visible to hidden 
by double clicking each duplicate and then at the bottom where it says visible, click that and it'll have toggle, visible, hidden, select hidden. Cool? Cool. The last step is to set up your trigger so that this all activates when someone follows. So right click in the triggers box, go to Twitch, hover over channel and select follow. You now have follower alerts set up and you can right click that trigger to click test and make sure everything does what it should inside of OBS. For extra effect, you can right click on each of the sources inside of OBS and change their show and hide transitions for a little pop. You know, you can make them fade in, you can make them swipe in, you know, swipe right because you like it. So, no, but seriously, play with that a little bit. I can't tell you how to set that up because I don't know what you're going to like. Obviously, I do fades and swipes. I, I like that, you know, I like it when the image fades in and then the text swipes out of it and then it swipes back into it and the image fades out again. Do whatever you like. They're your alerts. I have to sneeze and we're done. That's it. Or is it? Bonus round. Remember when I said that since we are setting these up for followers, we might as well talk about the other alerts too? Well, if you add extra media sources inside of the scene in OBS and name each one, you know, follower video, sub video, cheer video, tip video, and then go back into StreamerBot and duplicate the action you just set up three times, so you have four total actions. You can change the names of the copies to sub alert, cheer alert, and tip alert. Then inside of each of those actions, change the video trigger to the correct corresponding video, whether it is sub, cheer, or donation inside of OBS and change the sound that gets played for each one as well, and you now have four alerts. Or do you? What's up, everybody? Uh, future me here. Just coming at you to say, I totally forgot that you're also going to want to change the set GDI text source inside of StreamerBot in all of those actions that you created. Otherwise, they're all going to say thanks for following or whatever you programmed the follower alert to say. So for the subscription GDI text, you're going to want to change it to just subscribed or for cheer, cheered a billion bits or whatever. All I'm saying is you're going to want to change the text as well as the video and sound. And then you have four alerts. All right, back back to back to yesterday me. Just change the triggers for each action. So for the subscribers action, delete the follow trigger and then right click in the triggers box, go to Twitch, hover over subscriptions and choose subscription. You would also want to add a second trigger for gifted subs and maybe a third for gift bombs unless you want to set up another action specifically for those ones. For cheers, delete the follow trigger, right click, go to Twitch, hover over chat and select cheer. For donations or tips, delete the follow trigger, right click, hover over integrations and then select the service that you are using. To be clear, in order for donation alerts to work, you have to be using a service and have that service connected to your Twitch and your streamer bot. If you just have a donation link in your tiles for Twitch, it, you can't set up an alert for them. So you'd have to be using like stream elements or tippy, I think it's called or something. I don't know. I use stream elements. So that's what it's tied to. My PayPal is tied to my stream elements. My stream elements is tied to my Twitch and I have it added into StreamerBot. It works, okay? So you gotta do all of that to do tip alerts. I'm sure you know that, maybe, I don't know. If you didn't, you do now, congratulations. And all right, we're, we're done for real now. We're for really real done. Way to be a go-getter, just doing research and making efforts and stuff. Goat status coming soon. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions or need any help, please leave a comment below. And if you liked the video or found it helpful, please consider clicking that like button.
and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I also take requests and try to knock them out as quick as possible. So if you subscribe to the channel and comment below with any requests for things to be done in StreamerBot that you'd like a tutorial on, let me know and I'll do them, obviously. Last several videos I did were all requests and I still have more to come. So thanks everybody, I really appreciate you. Also, if you wanna be extra awesome, think about jumping into a live stream over on Twitch. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Central. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one. All right, I'm going to eat. <laughs>